that we don't think about when is the turn going to come or when is the bottom going to come. And in fact, when is one of the words I reject in our business because we sometimes have an idea what's going to happen and we never know when. Given that you now, you know, that Oak Tree is now 120 billion and I understand, you know, not all pools of money are the same. Realistically, given the size of that tanker, how much time would you really need to meaningfully adjust the portfolio? Well, well, first of all, I, I appreciate your use of the word adjust because a lot of people who are less astute than you would uh, say, how, much will it, how, how long would it take to go to cash? And the answer is going to cash. We don't go to cash and going to cash almost under almost all circumstances is stupid because uh, among other things, when you go to cash, you have to be right, right away. Because if you go to cash and, and prices start keep going up for a while, as they invariably will, and, and, and uh, returns continue to be positive, you fall so far behind by being in cash that you may even jeopardize your business to stay in business. And you'll certainly jeopardize a lot of your client accounts. So, uh, but you use the term adjust portfolios. And, You know, we, if, if you read the book, as I hope you will, you'll see that we don't think about when is the turn going to come or when is the bottom going to come. And in fact, when is one of the words I reject in our business because we sometimes have an idea what's going to happen and we never know when. The turns in, that matter, you see, the market is a little bit volatile. I mean, the, the economy is a little bit volatile. Sometimes it's up three and sometimes it's up, up one and sometimes it's down one. Company profits are more volatile because companies are leveraged, operating in financial. But market prices do this because they're driven by people, by people's emotion, by what we call human nature. And um, so to, to figure out when things are going to happen, you would have to be able to predict emotion, which is impossible. And so we don't ever think about when at Oak Tree. We think, and, and, and one, of, one of my mottos is we never know where we're going, but we sure as hell ought to know where we are. What's going on around us? What does that imply about the future? And um, if we conclude that the present developments justify a more defensive position, then there's no time like the present. So we start. And we do what we can, and hopefully we do enough before the stuff hits the fan. And you talked about, you know, sort of the pain associated with going to cash, and then if you mm -hmm. engage in abstention and the market keeps going up, then obviously you underperform. And, the, and let's point out the most important, one of the most important adages in investing, that being too far ahead of your time is indistinguishable from being wrong. Absolutely. Early is wrong. Sure. Um, but along those lines, um, has that changed over the course of the last... You know, again, call it 25 years. No, uh, uh, no, because in order to predict and work toward and game for a relative return, now, now not only do you have to know what's going to happen, but you have to know how other people are going to behave in response to what's going to happen, and you have to uh, set your game for that. So, again, it sounds uh, maybe impractical. All we try to do is the right thing. 